Hey guys, real quick, we're going to um, do a speed test and uh, check out some uh, issues that I've been having with my AT&T uh, business wireless, um, bring your own device, 5G, supposedly unlimited uh, data plan. So let me just run the uh, what I've experienced so far since having this. I've had uh, AT&T for a couple of years now. Just recently, I uh, added a, uh, uh, a data hotspot to it, and I brought my own device. So um, here's the scenario. Um, just kind of keep this pretty simple. Uh, I have one uh, plan, which includes two cell phones and uh, one data hotspot that I added uh, to support um, the pep wave uh, wireless uh, 5g um, device that um, I, I purchased separately and um, I've already in, uh, ordered and inserted the sim card I already communicated with uh, AT&T support so this works fine I can connect um, I'm out here on the internet now um, but what I've been experiencing is um, some throttling issues and so uh, I've been informed that uh, I have exceeded 16 gigabytes of data and um, they will uh, begin to throttle my uh, internet connections and I just wanted to show you this message that I received from AT&T so hopefully you can see this here I'll read it to you. Uh, AT&T, your data usage this month has reached 16.5 gigabytes. If you exceed 22 gigabytes before your next cycle on 10-26-2022, uh, you can still use unlimited data. However, your speeds may be reduced at times and in areas with network congestion, Wi-Fi helps avoid reduced speeds. Um, and then also, I want to show you a letter I received and I've uh, covered up some of the information out here um, just for the lines and so forth. You can see the date, October 25th, 2022. And then this is pretty much just saying the same thing. Um, data usage for this particular line. For the uh, hotspot that I'm using, um, be advised that your broadband plan has high usage. Um, after the data usage threshold on a line has been met in a given month, AT&T may temporarily slow data on that line during periods of network congestion, blah, blah, blah. All right. Uh, and then it goes into the AT&T's acceptance uses policy. Thank you for using AT&T. Okay. So um, I'm going to show you what the speeds are like when you're on AT&T's plan and you're being throttled. So I just went to Google here, nothing spectacular. I'm already connected on the Wi-Fi. Um, I'm near a major city. I'm not, you know, way out in the woods somewhere. So um, this this should, should be fairly decent, but um, you're gonna see what the throttling speeds are. So you go to Google, just type in speed test, and of course, Google will give you their version of the speed test. And we're going to use a second tool also. So right now it's testing the download speed. So you can already tell that that's very slow. It's not going to get too much faster than that. And now it's testing upload speeds. Okay. Um, no need to test again. It's not going to get any faster than that. As you can see, uh, download was 10.3, upload was 10.98. All right. So um, go to a different website, uh, speedtest.net. Nothing over here has been set. Just kind of pulled it up. Uh, of course, it's already picking up AT&T Internet. Uh, it's near Baltimore. We're going to change that after we do our first test. But we're just going to go with defaults for now. As you can already tell, it's pretty slow. So right now it's testing download speeds. And you can see it hit 10.16.
and upload speeds are probably going to be worse. Ooh, 3.43, wow. Okay, so you already know that I'm being throttled, but just for kicks, um, we're going to change the server. On speedtest.net, you can actually change the location to go through a different city um, that's near you. Uh, so let's do Washington, D.C. And we're going to go. I'm not worried about you seeing IP addresses and stuff like that because all that's going to change later on. So uh, this video is going to be broken into three parts. We're going to test under throttling conditions. And then um, we're going to make a change with AT&T. And we're going to come back and we're going to do the same test in part two. And we're going to come back and there'll be a third video where we will test um, AWS's uh, competitor. So we have a SIM card from T-Mobile, right? We're going to test with the same test, but utilizing a different SIM card from T-Mobile. So just got that, and as you can see, download is 11.83 and upload is 4.39. Okay, so we know that's not gonna get any better. However, right, I got some notes over here I want to share with you. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I did call AT&T and I said, hey, what's going on with my, my plan? And you know, I'm supposed to have uh, unlimited and I'm supposed to have 5G. Um, they said, yeah, you know, um, we've been seeing some high usage and pretty much the same message that I've already received from them. But they explained something to me. Um, so the current plan that I'm on, you can call in and say you want 5G and they might put you on 5G, but it doesn't actually mean you're gonna get 5G speeds. So even though you may or may not be on that 5G network or LTE, but just for the scenario, my condition, I'm on their 5G network, but they have different plans internally. So what I found out is if they put you on the 12 megabytes plan or speed, you ha you're paying $55 a month. Um, if you want to go up to 25 megabits, it's $105 a month. 50 megabits, 190. 100 megabits per second, 230. So you might be on their network, but they're slicing up the um, bandwidth allocation that's dedicated to your line. So you had to, you have to be specific in what you're asking for because of course you know a lot of us call in like okay we want to be on 5G we've got our 5G device you know we're expecting 5G speeds but you're not going to get 5G speeds unless you choose one of these and then they actually dedicate the bandwidth of 12, 25, 50, or 100 megabits per second but you pay more so that's kind of a cliche that they're not actually putting out there in their marketing you actually have to be specific and so now I know that so now um, let me talk let me tell you about the change that we're going to do um, so we kind of already talked about uh, what I was informed of uh, so I was also informed that when you have those particular two cell phones and a hotspot device on one plan all of the devices are sharing the data from that plan so yes all the devices will get unlimited data but you'll hit your threshold faster so um, you'll hit the depending on what you're doing you'll hit the 16 gigabytes because and 22 uh, gigabytes because it's being shared between those three particular devices so our plan with AT&T now is to separate it so we're gonna have one plan two phones we're going to have another plan for the uh, PEP wave that's going to go under its own separate plan and it's going to be unlimited and then we're going to come back and we're going to test speeds. So you see this down here, 988.37 megabits per second. That's equivalent to 5G. That's technically you being on their network, that's what you're supposed to be allocated to in theory. 
but you're not because they slice up the particular megabits per second. Um, so we already know what our download and upload is. We know we're being throttled. We've got the messages. We're going to come back and we're going to do a follow-up video um, after we insert the new AT&T SIM card, right? And also, we're going to test the speeds, same location, same computer setup, everything. We're going to take the AT&T card out and we're going to pop in T-Mobile and then we're going to come back and use the two same sites to do the testing. Stand by guys, we'll be back with part two and part three. Thanks for watching.